What's up YouTube? Welcome back to Quadrant Automotive. This is Akash signing in. Today I'm going to review the most iconic and the legendary car. It's none other than Mitsubishi Sidia. The car I have for the review today is 2008 Mitsubishi Sidia Sport. So this Mitsubishi Motors were in collaborated with Hindustan Motors and they launched Sidia in 2007 and this 2008 model had sports variant. They also had a select variant which was a base variant and this is the top end variant. Hindustan Motors they kind of delayed it on uh, Mitsubishi Motors to stop hitting the Lancer variant and later in 2007 uh, they launched uh, you know the Sidia. Front profile of the car so starting off with the clear lens headlamps so this is in a shape of fish eye don't you feel that i feel that so i have read that in an article the mitsubishi emblem integrated in the center and fog lamps on the either side this is the factory fitted and this is the aftermarket and this car happened to come with the skirts itself this is not aftermarket now we are at the side profile of the car starting off with the alloy wheel this is 15 inch jk wrapped tires the profile is 20560 r15 and the skirts travel all the way from the front bumper and travels all the way to the back bumper uh, and side 2 2.0 badging over here which indicates 2 liter petrol engine so we have a black window frame uh, which gives a good contrast with red black and red is a crazy combination which travels the front door as well as the rear door Let's check out the rear profile of the car, guys. At the rear profile, we have clear lens tail lamps, which is double barrel. Mitsubishi logo over here. Mitsubishi mentioned over here. This is a sport variant, so sports over here, and Sierra obviously. As I told you, the skirts travel all around the car. Massive uh, spoiler. which has a brake light integrated here too so this rear windshield has a defogger too so this is pretty much uh, with the rear profile of the car guys so let's check what's underneath the hood guys that's the main thing let me pop the hood for you and I'll run them up for you too so this is a 2 liter inline 4 naturally aspirated engine with 16 valve each cylinder with four valves all together make 16 valves So there is an air intake over here. The air passes through over here and goes to the air intake. So this is something practical. This is a 4G 94 engine, and uh, it's aluminium block. So this car produces 114 bhp at 5000 rpm and 170 newton meter torque between 4500 to 5000 rpm. Let's check out the interiors of this car. So straight away with this leather wrapped steering wheel, which is four spoke, and this is tiltable too. And let me lock this straight away with the cluster RPM gauge over here, speedometer over here, temperature gauge, and the fuel gauge. It has a dedicated space for each of these components, and OVM adjustable over here, which is broken. and fog lamp switch over here headlight leveler and to pop the hood while with the controls power window controls over here and this is uh, the power window lock so st small storage space while checking the dashboard this is perfectly laid out ac controls over here adjustable over here ac vents on the either side tiny small storage space cup holders and a small storage space here as well and the practical handrest so this is pretty much with the interiors of this car guys let's check how it is be in the wheel just come to life slotted to first gear since it is based on evo chassis and frame the platform is perfect and this steering wheel is like you know you aim and shoot and it goes the way you want which i loved it the car picks up the face 
in any gear since it has a flat torque slotting into different gears is butter smooth i don't see any hiccups there suspension guys suspension is next level evo is like a sports car and uh, they couldn't you know get that to india and they you know got cdia for us and this cdia is more like a premium family car uh, it's it feels like a sportier outside and gentleman cabin inside this is how i feel uh, the car goes mad on the road uh, but having said that evo is a all wheel drive and this is a front wheel drive considering front wheel drive full liter engine with 114 bhp it's slightly underpowered in a stock form uh, but you have tuners out there in bangalore especially there are a couple of tuners who can tune your car all the way to 170 bhp they keep the naturally aspirated engine straight out there and change the internals maybe frosted internals full system exhaust um, air intake the ecu remap with this the car makes about 170 easily and other matter of fact is this car was supposed to be about 134 bhp uh, but in india they have detuned it to 114 bhp and that is like disaster that has ever happened 2 liter to 114 bhp it's not a match let's see how it is from 0 to 100 revs all the way to 6000 rpm man this car is like mad i just got over there and it went the way i want that's what i need this is the car man this is why we say this car is a poor man's evo perfectly said it goes the way you want and if you want to make this evo just import the engine from us down this engine and it's just bolt on guys nothing to be done just bolt on look at the way how it steers i want to go left it goes crazy man crazy with a stock form it's kind of underpowered but the steering response and the suspension is next level i can give tough competitions to new generation cars slavia to my right cool man cool this goes crazy in its well said whoever has said this it's a poor man sevo perfectly said revving the engine all the way till 4000 rpm car already makes about 60 80 free raving engine response of the steering is crazy now the suspension has become stiffer well engineered guys well engineered it has a dual characteristics well engineered on the low speed it's like softer on the high speed it's like stiffer the same with the steering crazy especially this hydraulic steering some mad so time to wrap this video up guys hope you guys like the video uh drive safe take care see you again bye bye